Good day everyone, this is Teacher Tess and welcome to Enhanced English Experience. This channel is made for learners and adults who want to enhance their English knowledge and skills. So please like, comment, subscribe, and also hit the notification button. Our video lesson for today is based on the most essential learning competency in English 8 Quarter 3, which is use appropriate cohesive devices in various types of speech. The objectives of this lesson are identify cohesive devices, use appropriate cohesive devices, Discuss the different types of cohesive devices used in different types of speech and realize the importance of using cohesive devices in a speech. As an introductory activity, please accomplish first this pretest. Choose the appropriate cohesive device in completing each of the following sentences and write the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. Will you cook my favorite food? Blank. Will I just buy it? Is it A. And B. But C. Or Or D. So Next, number 2. You can borrow my laptop. Blank. You will use it carefully. Is it A. And B. As long as C. Even if And D. So Next, number three, Joy is going to finish her online work blank. The internet connection is poor. A also, B and C even if, or D or. Next, number four, Pedro eats his dinner early blank. He needs to finish his assignment. A but, B because, C such as, or D while. And number five, blank having their online classes, the children were assisted by their parents. A also, B because, C such as, or D while. It's time to check your answers. Number one, what is your answer? The correct answer here is, is C or. About number two, the correct answer here is letter B, as long as. About number three, the correct answer here is letter C, even if. How about number four, the correct answer here is letter B, because. And the last number 5, the correct answer here is D, while. Did you get all the correct answers? Great job! After answering the pretest, let us now move on to the lesson for today. What is cohesion? Cohesion refers to the way we use vocabulary and grammatical structures to make connections between the ideas within a text. It provides flow and sequence to your work and helps make your paragraphs clear for the reader. In order to achieve cohesion, we need to use cohesive devices. What are cohesive devices? Cohesive devices are words or phrases used to connect ideas between different parts of text. There are different types of cohesive devices. The first is repetition of words or ideas. This helps to focus your ideas and to keep your reader on track. Example, most people find contemporary art difficult to understand. Contemporary art is purposely abstract, leaving the viewers wondering what they are looking at. 
Next is use of synonyms for keywords and phrases. They provide some variety of word choices, helping the reader to stay focused on the idea being discussed. Example, at the end of the run, he was suddenly afraid. The height of the tree terrified him. The third one, pronouns or determiners. They are used for referring to something previously mentioned. Be sure, however, that what you are referring to is clear. Example, Mr. Noviel Fraga is the CEO of Fraga Fisheries and Company. He became the CEO in 2018. And the fourth is transitional devices or linkers, conjunctions, or connectors. These are words which give cues to the readers on the relationships between sentences and joint sentences together. There are different common transition words. The first one is coordinating conjunctions. These conjunctions connect words, phrases, and clauses of equal volume. Clauses of equal volume are called independent clauses and can stand on their own as separate sentence. The examples of coordinating conjunctions are First, for. It is used for explaining why. Example, he gains more weight for he eats too much sweets. The next example of coordinating conjunctions is and. It is used for adding similar or equal ideas. Example, his favorite snacks are apples and bananas. The next coordinating conjunction is nor. It is used for two non-contrasting grammatically negative items. Example, he doesn't like soft drinks nor hard liquors. The next coordinating conjunction is but. It is used to show contrast. Example, I eat vegetables but I never eat junk foods. The next coordinating conjunction is or. It is used to show an alternative. Example, would you like bread or cookies with your coffee? Another coordinating conjunction is yet. It is used to show contrast. It also means despite something. Example, he is still young, yet he is already very responsible. And the last coordinating conjunction is So, it is used for showing the consequence of something. Example, he was very hungry, so he ate the remaining fruits. Next transitional device is subordinating conjunctions. These conjunctions connect subordinate clauses or dependent clauses to independent ones. Examples of subordinating conjunctions are because, so that, as, since. These are used to express cause or reason. Example, as he was feeling sick, Pedro didn't go to work yesterday. Other examples of subordinating conjunctions are before, after, until, or till, when, as soon as, whenever, and while. These are used to express time. Example, the baby cries whenever he feels hungry. Other examples of subordinating conjunctions are unless, if, even if, in case, providing. These are used to express condition. Example, I'll lend you my phone, provided that you will use it carefully. More types of subordinating conjunctions are although, even though, 
Whereas, these are used to express contrast or a concession. Example, Joy loves outdoor activities, whereas her sister prefers to stay home. Next type of transitional devices is adverbial conjunctions. These are words that indicate connection between two independent clauses in one sentence. They also link ideas in two or more sentences. Furthermore, they show relationship between ideas within an independent clause. Examples of adverbial conjunctions are Also, besides, finally, furthermore, in addition, moreover, still. They are used in adding something. Example, it rained hard. Moreover, lightning flashed and thunder boomed. Other examples of adverbial conjunctions are also, as well, alike, similarly, and they are used in comparing. Example, sleeping early makes me feel relaxed. Also, it makes me active for the next day. More examples of adverbial conjunctions are in contrast, in spite of, on the other hand, even if, and they are used in contrasting. Example, I wanted to finish answering my activity in this module, even if it takes longer time to do it. Examples of adverbial conjunctions are certainly, definitely, indeed, in fact, and they are used in emphasizing. Example, following health protocols is indeed very important for us to be safe. Other examples of adverbial conjunctions are for, as an example, for instance, in other words, namely such as they are used in giving example example there are different symptoms of covid-19 namely cough fever and sore throat more examples of adverbial conjunctions are as it was has been said in conclusion finally in short in other words hence and they are used in summarizing or concluding. Example, COVID-19 is a serious disease. Hence, we need to follow health protocols. The fourth type of transitional signals is correlative conjunctions. These are conjunctions that always appear in pairs. Example, as, as, both, and, either, or, neither nor not only but also and they are used for showing equality example neither the minors nor the senior citizens are allowed to go out during the pandemic there are also other transitional devices like first or firstly finally in the first place then to conclude to begin next and they are used to show listings example i love the philippines a lot firstly i love its museums secondly i love its people finally i love its tourist attractions and those are the types of cohesive devices cohesive devices may slightly vary as they appear in different text types or speech First type of text or speech is informative text. This text serves to provide interesting and useful information to your audience. This is an example of informative type of text or speech. Notice the underlined words. They are the transitional devices used in this given text. Posting of health protocols is a must. It directs the people on how to follow physical distancing in the workplace, namely maintaining distance between employees and avoiding mass gatherings, 
Moreover, posting it at the entrance of every establishment is also advised. Furthermore, establishing daily disinfection procedures like placing hand washing stations and checking of body temperature are strictly practiced. These are simple precautionary measures for the prevention of virus transmission. Another type of speech or text is demonstrative. This type of text teaches you something. They differ from other types mostly because the writer shows its readers how to do things. This is an example of demonstrative text with cohesive devices. How to wash your hands properly. According to the World Health Organization or WHO, you need to wash your hands properly so that you can protect yourself against infection. Wash your hands with soap and water, then dry them thoroughly. If not, use alcohol-based hand rub. Washing your hands properly should be as long as singing the happy birthday song twice. Here are the steps. First, you need to wet hands with water. Second, apply enough soap to cover up all hand surfaces. Third, rub hands palm to palm. Fourth, palm to palm with fingers interlaced. Fifth, back to fingers to opposing palms with fingers interlocked. Sixth, rotational rubbing of left hand. Seventh, rotational rubbing of backwards and forwards with clasped fingers of right hand and left hand and vice versa. Then, rinse hands with water. And finally, dry thoroughly with a single use of towel. Next type of speech or text is persuasive. This text is used to convince the readers or listeners to change the way they think, do, so they begin doing something new. This is an example of persuasive text or speech. It also uses different transitional words. Why go out when it is much safer at home? Why don't you reflect and ponder on lessons brought about by this pandemic rather than blame others? Why do you always have to rant or complain on social media about the government's work when you can be of help to it? My dear friends, this pandemic will never be gone if we, the people, will not help our government officials and frontliners prevent it. The only way we can be of help to them is to follow the implemented policies and health protocols. Hence, let us help all together to heal our country as one. Another type of text is narrative. A narrative text is used to tell a story, often one that is based on personal experience. This is an example of narrative text with cohesive devices. On saving. As a young teen, Camellia does not enjoy much of her teenage life unlike the other teenagers do. Her weekends are spent on looking for work so she can earn her allowance. She spends 200 pesos a week. 100 pesos for her lunch, 80 pesos for her pair, and 20 pesos for classroom dues. She earns more than what she needs for the week. Moreover, on Saturdays, her routine would be to go to a distant relative and wash clothes to earn 100 pesos. In the afternoon, she volunteers weeding at her neighbor's garden for a small fee. Furthermore, on Sundays, after church services, she would iron out her teacher's uniform for 100 pesos. Despite her weekend routine, she remains to be one of the smartest in class. From the four types of text discussed, it is evident that cohesive devices may slightly vary in different text types. Nevertheless, they are important in making ideas flow and organizing information in the paragraph. After discussing about cohesion and cohesive devices, it's time to work on Activity 1. Look at the linking words inside the box. Classify them based on purpose. Use the organizer below. A sample answer is already given. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. 
The given cohesive devices are unless, as soon as, so that, yet, before, until, if, after, although, and because. You are going to classify them if they are expressing time, contrasting of ideas, expressing cause or reason, or giving condition. It's time to check your answers. Which of the cohesive devices show time? The answers are until, after, and as soon as. How about contrasting of ideas? The answers are also and yet. How about devices that give condition? The answers are unless and if. And devices that express cause or reason. These are because and so that. Did you get all the correct answers? Very good. It's time for activity 2. Fill in the blanks with coordinating conjunctions like for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. Write them on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. My mother will go to the market, blank, buy some fruits. Next, 2. I have just finished eating dinner, blank, I am already full. Number 3. Why don't you call Isabel? Blank, you to know what time she's coming over tonight. 4. Don't tell Jan about our surprise celebration for his birthday. Blank, share our plans to his friends. And number 5. I am planning to buy a new laptop. Blank, my money is not enough. It's time to check your answers. Number 1. My mother will go to the market, blank, buy some fruits. The correct answer here is, and. Next, number two, I have just finished eating dinner, blank, I am already full. And the correct answer here is, so. Next, number three, why don't you call Isabel? You to know what time she's coming over tonight. And the answer here is, four. Number four, don't tell John about our surprise celebration for his birthday. Blank share our plans to his friends. And the correct answer here is nor. And number five, I am planning to buy a new laptop. Blank, my money is not enough. And the correct answer here is but. Did you get all the correct answers? Great job! This ends our video lesson on using appropriate cohesive devices in various types of speech. Hope you learned something and hope to see you again in my next videos. Again, this is Teacher Thess saying thank you for watching and have a great day.